Okay, the problem is a coin sitting on a ramp, and the ramp is slowly elevated until the coin starts to slide down the ramp. The question is, what's the coefficient of static friction? This is a coin sitting on a ramp. The ramp is slowly elevated. The angle increases until the coin starts to slide. So the question is, what's the coefficient of static friction? The short answer is that it is equal to the tangent of the angle at which the ramp is elevated. But the more important question is, what's the process and the mathematics and the physics behind coming up with the answer stating that the coefficient of static friction is equal to the tangent of the elevation angle? So the process for solving this problem is fairly standard. Draw a picture representing the problem. Draw a free body diagram illustrating the major forces that are in effect along the major coordinate axes. Write algebraic expressions that summarize the forces in effect that are uh, along the major coordinate axes. Do a little bit of algebraic substitution. Isolate the value that is the objective and come up with an answer, which in this case the coefficient of static friction is equal to uh, the angle at which the ramp is elevated. So this picture is intended to illustrate all the forces that are in effect. There are only three forces in effect. There's a normal force, friction, and gravity. This free body diagram is intended to illustrate the same problem with all of the major forces in effect along the major coordinate axes. Notice that the surface of the ramp has been taken and just kind of flattened out. Um, this is done in order to reduce the number of forces in effect that have to be illustrated in terms of the sine or the cosine of an angle. So along the vertical uh, axis or the um, the y-axis, the normal force is pointing directly up in the positive y direction. The force's static friction is at a right angle in the negative x direction to uh, the normal, normal force. This angle theta here is equal to this angle here. This angle and this angle are the same value. And if for any of you who are looking at this video, it is unclear to you how and why this angle and this angle are the same, post a comment or a question to YouTube and I can um, do a separate note or a, a video explaining and proving that this angle is equal to this angle. So mg, mass times gravity, the third force in effect is the only force uh, that does not fall along uh, the major coordinate axis. So first take a look at the forces that are in effect horizontally along the y-axis. The normal force is opposed by the y component, the negative y component of mg. So the sum of the forces in the y direction on the coin are the normal force in the positive y direction opposed by uh, the negative y component of mg, which is mass times gravity times the cosine of theta. The coin's not moving, so these two forces are equal and opposite and sum to zero. So the normal force minus mass times gravity times the cosine of theta sum to zero, meaning that the normal force and mg cosine theta are equal and opposite. That's the sum of the forces in effect uh, along the y-axis. The forces in effect on the x-axis horizontally on the coin are the force of static friction opposing movement of um, the coin down the ramp, which is the positive x component of mg, or mass times gravity, times the sine of the angle, theta. So the force of static friction is equal to an opposite of mg cosine theta. They sum to zero, they're equal, and they're opposite. 
Now the force of static friction by definition is the coefficient of static friction times the normal force. This comes straight out of um, a physics textbook and if any of you viewers have questions about that, um, please post a comment or a question and I can address that for you. But the definition of the force of static friction is mu SFN, the coefficient of static friction times the normal force. Um, I'm saying this in order to allow some substitution into this expression. The force of static friction is equal to mass times gravity times the sine of theta, meaning that the coefficient of static friction times the normal force is equal to mass times gravity times the sine of theta. The normal force is also equal to mass times gravity times the cosine of theta, so substitute this expression for this variable, and the result is that the coefficient of static friction times mass times gravity times the cosine of theta is equal to mass times gravity times the sine of theta. Isolate the coefficient of static friction by dividing both sides by mg cosine theta, and the result is that the coefficient of static friction is equal to mass times gravity times the sine of the Ramsey angle divided by mass times gravity times the cosine of the Ramsey angle. mg over ng can be canceled out, that's equal to 1, and the sine of an angle divided by the cosine of an angle is uh, the tangent of that angle. So the result is that the coefficient of static friction is equal to the tangent of uh, the angle at which the, um, the ramp is elevated. And that is the process by which uh, the coefficient of static friction is determined and shown to be equal to the tangent of um, the angle that the ramp is tilted at. This is a pretty common question in um, First semester mechanical physics, you'll see it on lab assignments and homework assignments and quizzes and tests, which is why I made this video. I hope you find it helpful. And if you have questions or comments,